Now, Dr. O'Grady, now that you've, you know, found the abscess, you've dug a little hole, you've drained a little bit, what do you like to do now? Okay. Uh, the, whole, the whole idea of treating the abscess or any kind of infection is to remove the source. So what we want to do is promote, now that we have established drainage here, we want to promote it. Throughout the years, or as long as I can remember, and it still happens today, the treatment for a hoof abscess was to go ahead, put the horse in a bucket of hot water two or three times a day, put either a brand poultice on or a clay poultice, something that was meant to draw out the infection. And this has been standard horseman care for a long time. What we found, and probably myself for the last 10 years, <clears throat> there's a product called Animal Lintex, okay, which is a medicated poultice, comes in a sheet, comes in a, in a, in a pad as well. One of the nice things about this product is that it's medicated. In other words, it has a antiseptic property, also has a hydroscopic property. Hydroscopic means that it draws from the tissue. The second thing is that it has a plastic covering, so you can heat this up put it on the horse's foot and change it at 24 or 48 hour intervals. So while uh, this thing is constantly drawing rather than putting a horse's foot in a bucket of water and a poultice mm -hmm. or uh, whatever. So this has been our treatment of choice for so what do you, a long do you, time. So do you just put it on dry? What do you do with it? Uh, we usually uh, put this in hot water and we soak it, which I'm gonna show you here in a second. We soak it, put it on the, on the foot, fasten it to the foot and uh, we change it at 24 hours or 48 hours. The way we decide whether to change it is, once we've established drainage, we will leave this on for 24 hours and watch the horse walk. If the horse walks sound, we'll take it off, we'll press on this area with hoof testers. If the drainage has stopped, we'll bandage it with an antiseptic for 24 hours. If it's still draining, we'll re replace the poultice for another 24 hours. Okay, now it's important that the poultice is hot, hot uh, water? On the foot, yes it is, is, because hot water softens better than cold water, obviously. And one of the reasons is the poultice will draw if you have, for that word, if you have drainage established, but one of the main things with a poultice is to go ahead and soften the area of the foot that you're trying to drain uh -huh. so you promote uh -huh. drain. I'm going to use the sheet poultice today. One of the reasons I'm going to use the sheet is because when I go ahead and put this on the horse's foot, I'm going to envelop the coronary band as well. That's where all the vessels come into your foot. If this is being hot, it's going to dilate those vessels, which is going to bring more blood supply, more of the anti-inflammatory products properties to the abscess. <clears throat> I wanted to show you the poultice itself. You'll see the covering here has, this is the medicated part. If we turn it around, it has plastic. The plastic on the outside is going to contain your heat once you put this on the horse's foot. Okay, so the plastic's to the outside. Always to the outside. Okay. You can never go wrong. Okay. okay. I'm going to undo the the product we attach to using uh, the Animal Intex is a cup he's a bandage vet wrap. Both these products are readily available. And we've used vet wrap for years and years. It's yeah. about the, the best thing you could ever get with a horse, that's for sure. Very, very good. You can pretty much use it for just about anything. Absolutely. <laughs> I agree with you, Clinton, 100%. Okay. There's two staple things I think that people need to have in their barn, which is vet wrap and Corona ointment. Uh, you know, you got an animal, it's going to get injured at some time and it needs a bandage. You know, there's two things that I think any barn should have, corona ointment and vet wrap. You're, you're probably right. <laughs> okay, Clinton, I'll briefly show you how we put one okay. of these on a horse's foot. <clears throat> we're going to take the sheet poultice and we're going to fold it in half, okay? We're going to put it in the water, okay? And we're going to wait till the bubbling stops. Why is that important? Okay, because that's going to fill up all, the whole poultice with water. Okay, right. Okay? We're going to go ahead and we're going to put our finger inside. We're going to turn it over on itself again and we're going to push the water out of it. Okay? Okay. Now we have a poultice that is completely saturated, plastic on one side. Mm -hmm. This is the medicated side. So we'll move over to the horse. Do you want me to uh, hold that while you clean his foot out again? How important it is to make sure the foot's real clean? 
uh, you want to have it on a clean surface if you can, so the area of drainage okay. is not obstructed by any kind of material in the Okay, bottom. so we're on sand here, but if we were doing this for real, we'd be in the Ooh. barn on concrete or rubber mat. Or Absolutely, like yes, okay. sir. As Clint mentioned earlier, obviously when we, we have a horse for an abscess, we're generally going to be working uh, in the aisle of a barn on concrete or macadam, so it's going or to be... Or rubber mat, something a lot better or cleaner than sand out here in the arena. Absolutely, but we have the area clean, so we're going to take our, our sheet poultice, plastic always on the outside because that's going to contain your heat. Okay, we're going to come back to the bulbs of the heels. We're going to come up to the front. We're going to push our hand on either side. Okay, now we have a bandage that completely envelops the foot. Okay, we're going to use our cohesive bandage. Okay, and we're going to start almost in a figure eight. Okay, to go from side to side. Once that stuff grips on itself, it's pretty neat. Absolutely. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead. Do you see how I'm, I'm figurating this? I'm going to cross the back, underneath the front, and come up again, okay? Always in a figure eight bandage, because what this is forming is a nice seal at the heel so the horse won't lose the bandage. Cross the back, figure eight it over the front, cross the front, figure eight it the other way, go around the back, okay? And we just go in that continual motion until we come to the end of the bandage. You'll see where it's cohesive. It goes ahead and it seals itself. And then on the bottom of this, we'll put a couple roll, a couple strips of duct tape just to contain the, the uh, moisture within the foot. Okay. This will stay warm from 24 to 48 hours once you put it on hot because the plastic is containing it within the foot. Okay, and, and it's surely got to be getting some temperature from the horse's body itself. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, I would certainly agree. Right. Okay, so that's about it then. That's for a whole abscess.